Welcome to Positive and Negative Externalities in Consumption. We're going to look at the MSB, the MEB and the MBB in more detail to help with these. Okay, some recall. MPB is the benefit to the individual of an individual consuming an extra, extra unit of the good or service. MEB, benefit to third parties of an individual consuming an extra unit of the good or service. MSB, benefit to society of an individual consuming an extra unit of the good or service. Hopefully that's really clear, get that down in your notes if you don't have that already. Remember also the equation, MVB plus MEB equals MSB. Write that down, get that down in your notes. Very useful, we'll use that equation today. So this marginal external benefit thing is actually the externality. That's probably the, the word you have become used to. Externalities, they can be positive if they help third parties. So I've got that happy face to illustrate that these externalities help third parties. Externalities, if they're negative, they harm third parties. We have that kind of unhappy face to illustrate the harm. If you have a impact on third parties that it's good, you want to use the word positive. You're having a positive impact on third parties, so you're adding benefits onto third parties, right? So you have an MEB that's a positive number. Because of that, remember that equation? MSB equals MPB plus MEB. That's going to mean that your MSB is going to be higher than your MPB. Remember, MSB equals MPB plus MEB. This thing being a positive means that your MSB is higher than your MPB. And here I've drawn this cool graph showing that the MSB is literally vertically higher than the MPB. I've been true to this equation. That's been caused because the benefit to the individual, the MPB, there was also the benefit to the third parties, the MAB, resulting in a much higher social benefit, the MSB. Now, if the externality is bad news, harmful to others, we're limited with the vocab a little bit because we're talking about marginal external benefits, the benefits of third parties, but there's a way to get around it. We want to use the, the, a negative here. A negative marginal external benefit communicates that this has removed well-being from third parties. And if we put this back into this equation, if this MEB is now a negative number, then your MSB is going to be less than your MPB. And guess what? That's what I've drawn here. The MSB is literally vertically less. So at each quantity, there is less marginal social benefit than the marginal private benefit. So what's happening in this case, the individual is perceiving that there's very high benefits to themselves. But once you take into account all the other people that you've harmed in the process, the benefits to society have been lower that's a negative consumption externality graph. So here's the summary. Positive consumption helps third parties, negative harm third parties. Positive MEB refers to helping third parties. Negative MEB refers to harming third parties. Some people call that an external cost. Merit goods have positive consumption externalities. Demerit goods have negative consumption externalities. So here's a summary. Those are the graphs that we have to use. MSB higher than the MPB for the positive consumption externalities. Negative consumption externalities, MSB is lower. If there are no externalities in consumption, this one's a cool one, it's going to mean this MEB is zero. And because it is zero, then it's going to mean your MSB is going to equal your MPB. Take a look at this fun equation showing that. If we add in the MEB equal to zero, MSB equals MPB plus zero, so therefore MSB equals MPB. And that's why sometimes when you're drawing X and that, when you're drawing graphs, you want to communicate that there's no externality in consumption, you can draw the MSB equaling the MPB. Great. 
stay tuned for the next video where we're going to look at why is MPB downward sloping even with merit goods.